The film begins by showing a cute girl named Suzai Zai. At that time, she was getting ready for school, just like a handsome guy named Chung Lu Rung, who also wanted to go to school. But then Zai Zai accidentally dropped her wallet, and it was Lu Rang who found it. When they got to school, both Zai Zai and her best friend, Jian Jia, were late. They ended up getting scolded by the senior students in charge that day. At the same time, there was another guy who was late just like them. However, the senior students made a mistake and wrote down his name as Chung Lu Rung. This surprised Zai Zai and Jia, because Lu Rang was really famous at that school. So Zai Zai and Jia sneaked into the classroom. It turns out they were new students, and their teacher asked them to introduce themselves. In another scene, Lu Rang was also running late for class, but he had a special mission in mind. He rushed straight to the school broadcast room. You see, Lu Rang had found a wallet, and he wanted to return it to the owner. Shortly after the announcement about the found wallet, Zai Zai hurried to the broadcast room to claim her wallet. It was then that she discovered that the person who had found and returned her wallet were Gu Lun and Lu Rang. Excitedly, Jia invited her to meet them, and it seemed like Zai Zai was already developing feelings for Lu Rang. Interestingly, Zai Zai had actually met Lu Rang before at a shop. However, she got a bit mixed up and thought his name was Gu Lun. Back in their classrooms, their teachers announced that there would be military training the next day. This news made Zai Zai very happy because she would get the chance to see Lu Rang again. The next day, Zai Zai's class was all set to go on their trip. But there was a problem caused the bus they were supposed to take couldn't fit everyone. So some of them had to hop onto another bus. And Zai Zai was in for a surprise when she found out that Lu Rang was on that same bus. Her mind started wandering, thinking about being close to him, and that's why she decided to switch to his bus. On the bus, Zai Zai was really impressed by Lu Rang because he helped her with her stuff. And throughout the journey, she couldn't help but keep an eye on him. When they finally reached the military training site, they were given instructions by the instructors. Afterward, they headed to the dormitory to rest and line up for some equipment. It was then that Zai Zai went to the infirmary to get some medicine. Since there was no one around, she took the chance to lie down and enjoy the cool air from the air conditioner. But suddenly, someone walked in, and that someone turned out to be Lu Rang. Zai Zai quickly pretended to be feeling unwell, not realizing that she was talking to the man she had been admiring. On top of all that, Zai Zai surprised Jia because she managed to sneak her cell phone into the place. But their luck didn't last long as there was suddenly a surprise inspection of the rooms. When Jia found out about it, she rushed to make sure Zai Zai's phone was safe. Turns out, something similar was happening in Gu Lun's room. He had hidden a game, and the instructor was really suspicious. Thankfully, Gu Lun ran into Lu Rang, who came to the rescue. However, Lu Rang had a tough time finding a hiding spot for himself. Eventually, Lu Rang crossed paths with Zai Zai during the hide-and-seek game. This brought them really close, and strangely enough, Lu Rang seemed a bit embarrassed. In the evening, Zai Zai and Lu Rang went for a walk. At that moment, Zai Zai took the chance to thank him for finding her wallet. But oops, she mistakenly called him Gu Lun again. She also asked about the friendship between Lu Rang and Gu Lun. There Zai Zai was overjoyed because Lu Rang remembered her name. That happiness made her like him even more. Afterward, all the students gathered in the field. To impress everyone, Zai Zai bravely stepped up to sing in front of everyone. She even mentioned that she had dedicated the song to Lu Rang. But there was a mix up in her mind, as she still thought Lu Rang was Gu Lun. It wasn't until Gu Lun got up that Zai Zai realized her mistake all this time. Suddenly, heavy rain poured down. Feeling guilty, Zai Zai wanted to talk to Lu Rang, but ended up just exchanging glances with him in the rain. Later that night, she felt really sad about her misunderstanding. In that moment, Jia tried to comfort her, and they left the dormitory. The night felt scary to Zai Zai. On the other hand, Lu Rang and Gu Lun were also outside the dormitory. Even though Gu Lun was a guy, he was still afraid of the silent night. However, he didn't hesitate to admit his fear to Lu Rang. Eventually, he got the courage to go back to the dormitory alone. Not too long after, Zai Zai ran into Lu Rang, who was sitting alone. Surprisingly, he had played a little prank on her, which had really scared her at first. After things settled down, Zai Zai kept trying to act cool in front of Lu Rang. She also apologized for saying something unkind about him. But when she saw that Lu Rang was still acting aloof, Zai Zai got a bit annoyed and questioned his attitude. After a while, and with Jia still not returning, Zai Zai decided to go look for her in the equipment room. However, she was quite scared on the way, 
and little did she know that Lu Rang was right behind her. Soon enough, Jia came back, and they all roasted sweet potatoes with another friend. The atmosphere that night brought them closer as they shared stories, but suddenly, their instructor caught them and made them run away. The next day, Zai Zai and her friends were back at school. She felt frustrated during the math lesson, and they all received some advice from their teacher. And the same things were happening in Lu Rang's class. After a few classes, Zai Zai was still upset because she felt like she and Lu Rang didn't get along. Jia suggested that Zai Zai shouldn't obsess too much over Lu Rang. Finally, Jia came up with an idea to help her. During their break, Jia sat down with Gu Lun, hoping to find out what kind of girl Lu Rang liked to help Zai Zai. But Gu Lun didn't cooperate and annoyed her instead, refusing to give an answer. So Jia left in frustration. Shortly after, Lu Rang and Guan Feng joined Gu Lun. Surprisingly, Gu Lun asked Lu Rang about his ideal type of girl. However, Lu Rang replied with a description that sounded more like his pet dog's type. This information reached Zai Zai's ears, and she immediately decided to try to become the type of girl he liked. She started following him around and talking non-stop, introducing herself as the kind of girl he described. But Zai Zai's chatter got out of hand. She just kept on talking, trying to fit the description. Realizing this, Lu Rang finally clarified that he was talking about his dog, not a girl, leaving Zai Zai feeling very embarrassed. The following day, all the students in Zai Zai's class were excited because they learned that they could sign up for extracurricular activities. This was a chance for them to spend more time with the people they liked, like Zai Zai, who had a crush on Lu Rang. When it was time to leave school, Jia and Zai Zai once again ran into Lu Rang and his two friends. Zai Zai made sure to greet Lu Rang. In the evening, Zai Zai intentionally wanted to take the same bus home as Lu Rang. She even paid for his bus fare. While on the bus, Zai Zai stood up to protect a woman from a man who was bothering her. However, the man accused her in return. Thankfully, Lu Rang came to her rescue, and this made Zai Zai really happy. But it also left Lu Rang feeling embarrassed. After the bus ride, she continued to follow him. The next day, Gu Lun and Guan Feng tried to convince Lu Rang to join extracurricular activities, just like Zai Zai and Jia were planning to. However, Lu Rang was not easily persuaded. Meanwhile, Zai Zai and Jia were having a chat about which extracurricular activities to choose. When the students interested in joining the drama club gathered, Zai Zai was thrilled because Lu Rang was also there. However, she couldn't help feeling a bit jealous when she noticed another girl sitting next to Lu Rang. Around that time, Zai Zai received the highest score in English, and her English teacher shared her assignment sheets with the students in class 10. She was happy about this because Lu Rang was in that class. Later, Zai Zai found Lu Rang in the library. She wanted to collect her English test paper, but didn't rush. Instead, she sat at the same table with him, and they studied together. However, Zai Zai almost dozed off while waiting for Lu Rang to finish studying. Afterward, they went back to their own classrooms. Zai Zai encouraged Lu Rang because he didn't do well on the English exam. Then, Lu Rang was informed that his mother had come to the school. When met with her, he overheard his mother comparing his intelligence to that of his siblings, who were apparently doing better than him. As school ended for the day, Zai Zai walked home with Jia, and once again, they couldn't stop talking about Lu Rang. The following day, Lu Rang was having an English lesson with his teacher. It wasn't long before Zai Zai joined them. Eventually, the teacher asked her for help in teaching Lu Rang, since she was really good at this subject. Zai Zai was overjoyed and excited to help him. The next day, when Lu Rang attended his English class, he could answer the teacher's questions because he had studied with Zai Zai. His progress was praised by his teacher. When he got home from school, Zai Zai continued to encourage Lu Rang to study English with her. However, he still declined the offer. Days went by and Zai Zai didn't give up. She convinced Lu Rang to study with her. When he got home, his mother had arranged an English tutor for him. However, Lu Rang turned down the tutor because he already had someone willing to help him sincerely, which made his mother quite upset. Meanwhile, Zai Zai was enjoying a meal at a minimarket when she spotted Lu Rang outside. Soon after, she went over to meet him. When Lu Rang was about to leave, Zai Zai tugged on his sleeve and invited him to join her. Her invitation eventually worked, but Lu Rang felt embarrassed when Zai Zai offered him some food. In reality, he was quite hungry, and his stomach was growling. Then Zai Zai kindly shared her food, and Lu Rang finished it all. After that, they walked home together, and Lu Rang surprised Zai Zai by expressing his willingness to take English lessons with her. 
Zai Zai didn't saw him smile. Then, they exchanged contact information, which made Zai Zai really happy, and they started messaging each other. The next day, when Zai Zai and Lu Rang met, Zai Zai always had a cheerful expression. Unbeknownst to them, Lu Rang couldn't help but notice her cuteness, which brought a smile to his face. Afterward, they began studying together. It turned out that not only did Lu Rang want to improve his English, but Zai Zai also wanted to study science with him so they could progress together. The following day they went back to school. This time, both Zai Zai and Lu Rang's classes were learning about sports. However, Zai Zai wasn't too excited because she wasn't very good at sports. To make things worse, Zai Zai and Jia weren't treated well by the older students. But when Lu Rang, Gu Lan, and Guan Feng saw what was happening, they came to the rescue and ended up being challenged to a basketball game. Zai Zai and Jia cheered and encouraged their friends, who turned out to be really great at basketball and won the match. Afterward, Zai Zai had to stay a bit late to help a teacher with something. Lu Rang looked worried about her, especially because it started raining heavily that night. With the sudden rain, Zai Zai had to take shelter at the security post and wait for the rain to stop. Shortly after, Lu Rang showed up with an umbrella, seeing that made Zai Zai very happy, and they walked home together. Throughout the journey, she kept chatting and flashing her lovely smile. Not only that, she was quite good at playfully teasing Lu Rang, even making him blush at times. The next day, Zai Zai was in such high spirits that she treated some friends to lunch in the canteen. She also remembered to buy something special for Lu Rang. Secretly, she slipped some food to him and even included a heartfelt letter in the package. However, when Zai Zai entered the classroom, she was accused of stealing Class 10's funds, which were actually missing due to Zen Xin's actions. At that time, Zai Zai denied that and tried to defend herself, but a teacher remained suspicious. Fortunately, Lu Rang was there, and his presence deepened Zai Zai's feelings for him. There, Lu Rang stepped in to help her out. Later, during school hours, Zai Zai saw her friends searching something from the trash can. It turned out they were searching for the missing funds from Lu Rang's class. Zai Zai was deeply touched by her friends' actions, as they clearly believed in her innocence and think she would never do that. The next day, the truth came out. It turned out the class funds were in Zen Xin's possession all along, and he had falsely accused Zai Zai of stealing them. When Zai Zai heard the good news, she go to Zhen Xin and hear his apology. However, Zhen Xin was too proud to apologize sincerely, and this making Zai Zai reject his apology. Seeing her like that, making Lu Rang very impressed. Afterwards, Zai Zai went to a shop owned by Guan Feng's grandmother, where her other friends were also present, and they all shared a meal together. They discussed the recent issues she had faced. Later, Zai Zai and Lu Rang walked home together, chatting along the way. At that time, she felt grateful for everything Lu Rang had done for her. The following day, Zai Zai and her friends went to an amusement park. They do some silly activities that even had Lu Rang joining in, wearing a headband. They had lots of fun and enjoyed the games at the park. At that moment, Zai Zai was checking out Lu Rang's test scores. She was really excited because Lu Rang had managed to improve his English grades. Likewise, he was looking at her test scores and noticed that she had made progress in math. Grateful for Lu Rang's help, Zai Zai asked him to wait for her after school. In the evening, as Lu Rang was about to head home, he received a message from Zai Zai. At that moment, she thinks Lu Rang had already taken the bus, but when she found out he was waiting for her, she rushed to meet him. Then, she gave him a doll as a gift. When Lu Rang got home and opened the doll, he was pleasantly surprised to find a recording of Zai Zai's voice inside. This brought a smile to his face, as he found her cute voice quite endearing. The following day, Zai Zai's teacher announced that there would be a sports competition, and all the students had to participate. And in Lu Rang's class, the teacher organized a lottery to determine which competitions each student would take part in. Later that evening, Zai Zai wanted to know which race Lu Rang was participating in. When she found out, she decided to challenge herself by joining the 1000 meter race to impress him. At that time, she was hoping for some encouraging words from him. On a weekend morning, Zai Zai was enjoying a bike ride. By chance, she spotted Lu Rang in a park with his dog. Unfortunately, his dog ran towards Zai Zai, causing her to fall. Seeing this, Lu Rang rushed to help her and then accompanied her to the hospital. During their trip to the hospital, Zai Zai and Lu Rang became quite close. Their Zai Zai was no longer hesitant to hug Lu Rang. When they arrived at the hospital, she received treatment from the doctor, and Lu Rang was by her side the whole time. He even offered to carry her, but she declined. 
Soon after, Jia also came to check on Zai Zai's condition, and Gu Lun and his father were there too, because Gu Lun's father was one of the doctors at the hospital. Afterwards, Lu Rang took Zai Zai back home. It became evident that he genuinely cared for her. He promised to accompany her to school until she fully recovered, which made her very happy. The next day, Lu Rang kept his promise. He waited for Zai Zai and they went to school together. He even walked her to class and left her with her friends, which surprised them. But that wasn't all cause Zai Zai was also spoiled by Lu Rang. She sent him messages asking for food, and without any hesitation, he fulfilled her request. At that time, Zai Zai was even more impressed with his kindness. Unexpectedly, her father saw the two of them riding home from school. The following day, the sports competition kicked off. Zai Zai and Jia were excited to watch all the events. They cheered for the tug-of-war teams, with Zai Zai snapping pictures of the competition. However, her camera got misfocused because she spotted Lu Rang in the crowd. Eventually, she met up with him, who was participating in one of the events. She was filled with enthusiasm and kept cheering him on. During the competition, Lu Rang managed to win the 100-meter race, although he didn't come in first place. Zai Zai was still proud of him and even admired the medal he received. In a sweet gesture, Lu Rang gave his medal to Zai Zai, and the two of them exchanged a meaningful gaze in a moment of silence. Later, as it was time to head home from school, Zai Zai returned Lu Rang's medal. She came close to confessing her feelings to him, and Lu Rang, understanding her words, felt embarrassed. Eventually, Zai Zai left, leaving Lu Rang in a thoughtful state. When Zai Zai got home, she excitedly shared what had happened with Jia. Even though she wasn't sure if Lu Rang liked her in the same way, Zai Zai felt grateful because they were still good friends. Meanwhile, Lu Rang listened to the recording of Zai Zai's voice on the doll she had given him, which brought a happy smile to his face. The following day, Zai Zai's extracurricular group was selecting the role of Cinderella for their school's upcoming arts event. After the votes were counted, she was chosen to play Cinderella, making her happy. And turns out, this news brought a joyful smile to Lu Rang's face as well. After the selection, Zai Zai was eager to know whom Lu Rang had voted for. To her delight, she discovered that he had chosen her. Zai Zai admitted during the bus ride home that she already knew Lu Rang had picked her to be Cinderella. Her statement left him feeling embarrassed but pleased. In the evening, Zai Zai messaged Lu Rang and asked for his help to learn the lines for the Cinderella play. Lu Rang agreed, but he had a condition that Zai Zai had to score at least 90 on a math test he would give her. Hearing that, she was surprised by this requirement, but still agreed to it. The next day, they met to take the math test like Lu Rang's request. Since their usual study spot was closed, he invited her to study at his home. As soon as they got there, Zai Zai began the test. Unfortunately, she only scored 85. Surprisingly, Lu Rang's uncle, who was also their teacher, arrived home not long after. Zai Zai was quite shocked to see him. As it was getting late, Lu Rang gave her a ride back home. During the journey, Zai Zai kept praising him, and they had a nice conversation. In that moment, she kept asking him to help her with practicing Cinderella's lines. A few days later, Zai Zai and her friends gathered at Guanfeng's house to rehearse for the Cinderella play. This time, Lu Rang played the role of the prince. At first, he seemed a bit stiff, but he eventually relaxed. Zai Zai, who was playing Cinderella, was thrilled that Lu Rang was the prince. Suddenly, they heard a commotion outside the room, and it turned out that Guan Feng was getting scolded by his grandmother. The presence of Guan Feng's grandmother made them even more enthusiastic about practicing. There, they showed off their acting skills to Guan Feng's grandmother and had a great time practicing together. After they finished, Zai Zai made sure to capture the moment on video. Lu Rang helped record Zai Zai rehearsing as Cinderella. When it was time for the drama presentation with Zai Zai's group and friends, she looked beautiful in her simple outfit which amazed Lu Rang. However, the person who was supposed to play the prince didn't show up that day. So they asked Lu Rang to step in and play the role of the prince. Before the performance, Zai Zai tried to calm down Lu Rang, who was feeling really nervous. Soon, they began the drama. Fortunately, the performance went smoothly, and Lu Rang was completely amazed by Zai Zai's elegance and beauty. After they finished, she sweetly gave Lu Rang a jelly as a gift. Later on, Zai Zai playfully asked Lu Rang if she looked beautiful, making him a bit shy as he answered her question. Then, they captured the moment by taking a photo together. The next day, Zai Zai started to gain the attention of many guys because of her charming appearance at the recent event. This didn't go unnoticed by Lu Rang and his friends. 
However, Lu Rang tried to hide his jealousy as many guys approached Zai Zai. When it was time to go home from school, Lu Rang and Zai Zai walked home together. There, she mentioned that a few people had asked for her contact information. However, she told Lu Rang that since they were teacher and student, they shouldn't hide anything from each other. She also asked him to call her name if she ever needed help, and he actually did that. He was willing to fulfill that request, and as a result, she really liked him. The following day, Zai Zai and her friends visited Chi and Yu in the hospital, showing genuine concern for his condition. Later, they went to the aquarium together. Zai Zai took on the role of Lu Rang's guide, but he ended up mispronouncing the fish names and even unintentionally made a child cry with his jokes. Thankfully, Lu Rang managed to soothe the child, and they continued enjoying their time at the aquarium. During their visit, Lu Rang and Zai Zai came across a lost child and took the initiative to reunite the child with their teacher. In return, the teacher gave them matching pendants as a gesture of gratitude. At that time, Zai Zai was thrilled because they now had matching pendants, which brought her a lot of happiness. The following day, Lu Rang and Zai Zai studied together again. However, Zai Zai couldn't concentrate well as she was thinking about the end of the world, a topic many people were discussing. Lu Rang, on the other hand, didn't put much belief in such ideas. The next day, a group of students was supposed to travel together for an academic competition. Lu Rang was waiting for Zai Zai and Jia, but they were still fast asleep in Zai Zai's room. Since they were running late, they decided to catch a bus. Zai Zai made sure to inform Lu Rang about this change in plans. However, she felt a bit sorry because taking the bus meant a longer and slower journey. Meanwhile, Lu Rang was getting ready to go to the bus station to meet Zai Zai. Gu Lun, upon learning this, hurried to join Lu Rang because Jia was also traveling with Zai Zai. Then they met up, and it was clear that Lu Rang cared a lot about Zai Zai. When they arrived at the hotel, they headed straight to their respective rooms. This time, Zai Zai was sharing a room with a new friend named Xia Ning. They introduced themselves and Zai Zai learned that Xia Ning also knew Lu Rang. However, this made Zai Zai feel a bit jealous. Shortly after, she couldn't resist asking Lu Rang about Xia Ning. At first, she felt relieved when she learned that their relationship wasn't too close. But Lu Rang playfully teased her by praising his past collaboration with Xia Ning during middle school, which made Zai Zai jealous again. The next day, Zai Zai met up with Lu Rang, along with some other friends. They had planned to have a fun day. Surprisingly, Xia Ning also wanted to join them. In that moment, Zai Zai couldn't help but feel even more jealous due to the closeness between Lu Rang and Xia Ning. And turns out, their plan for the day included mountain climbing, but Zai Zai couldn't go with them because her leg was hurting. As a result, she stayed behind, waiting for their return. Unexpectedly, Lu Rang also decided not to climb the mountain and stayed with her. In the end, they had a great time enjoying the rides together. In the evening, Zai Zai returned to the hotel and excitedly shared her day's experiences with Jia. However, as she left the room, she spotted Xi Ning with Lu Rang. At first, Zai Zai felt a pang of jealousy due to their closeness, but her jealousy vanished when she realized that Lu Rang actually wanted to see her to offer warmth and care. This made her very happy. Soon after that, Zai Zai and Xia Ning started chatting and Zai Zai learned that Xia Ning and Lu Rang were just friends. Later on, Zai Zai and her friends got ready to head home, although they were still a bit worried about rumors of the world ending that day. After traveling for a few hours, Zai Zai and Lu Rang finally fell asleep. She even took a photo of Lu Rang, and he smiled when he noticed it. Then, they woke up just before midnight, with only five minutes left before the supposed end of the world. At that time, Zai Zai decided to capture the moment and record each person's final statements. When it was her turn, Lu Rang helped her record it, and he couldn't help but smile at her adorable self in front of the camera. The next day, Zai Zai and her friends were having a meal at Guan Feng's grandmother's shop when two men started causing trouble. Guan Feng, who saw this, immediately tried to handle the situation without making a scene. He even went along with the men's requests. It turned out that Guan Feng only acted this way in front of his friends. However, when his friends weren't around, he taught those two guys a lesson. Shortly after, Gu Lun rushed over to Guan Feng out of concern, and the other friends checked on them too. Everyone felt relieved when they realized that Guan Feng and Gu Lun were okay. The following day, when Guan Feng returned home from school, those two boys from the previous day brought a friend with them to seek revenge on Guan Feng. At first, Guan Feng remained calm, but when they insulted his grandmother, he couldn't control his anger and a fight broke out. Shortly after, Guan Feng's friends arrived and helped him. 
A few days later, Lu Rang and Zai Zai walked home together. Because it was chilly outside, Lu Rang gave his gloves to her. This time, his attitude was warmer than before. He even started to talk more and seemed to be in a better mood. On that night, the first snow fell, and they were filled with joy. Zai Zai and her family were busy cleaning and decorating their house to welcome the new year. Then Zai Zai asked Lu Rang if he did the same thing at his place. It turned out that Lu Rang didn't do much because his mother seemed to like his sibling more. In the evening, Zai Zai's father planned to celebrate the new year in their family's hometown. At first, Zai Zai hesitated, but when she learned that her family's hometown was the same as Lu Rang's, she quickly changed her mind. She was thrilled and eagerly agreed to go. Zai Zai also made sure to inform Lu Rang that she would be celebrating the new year in his hometown and looked forward to seeing both of them. The following day, Zai Zai was all set to leave and informed Lu Rang about her departure. On the flip side, Lu Rang's family had some guests over and they were really impressed by Lu Rang's sibling. When Lu Rang was present, they kept comparing them. Lu Rang had to stay quiet while hearing all of this. Then he received a message from Zai Zai saying that she had arrived in her hometown and was going to take some rest so they could meet in the evening. In another scene, Zai Zai's mother insisted that she accompany her cousin for shopping. Wearing casual clothes and lacking enthusiasm, Zai Zai went along. When they reached the shopping center, she ended up joining a group of mothers trying to get a discount. To her surprise, Lu Rang was also there and witnessed Zai Zai getting into a tussle over cooking oil with another woman. Feeling embarrassed, she eventually gave in. Then they headed home together. Once again, Zai Zai showed her cheerful attitude toward Lu Rang, and he continued to praise her while her cousin tried to tease her. Then, Lu Rang praised her. Not too long after, they were almost at Zai Zai's family's house. But before they could reach home, they had to pass by a live CCTV camera, which belonged to nosy neighbors along the road to Zai Zai's house. Finally, they arrived home, but Zai Zai's father unexpectedly held a broomstick right in front of Lu Rang's face, which startled Zai Zai and left her surprised. When Zai Zai explained that Lu Rang was a school friend who had helped her with science lessons, her parents suddenly became very friendly toward him. Not only that, Zai Zai changed into different clothes, which also surprised her father. She showed flirtatious behavior in front of everyone. In the evening, Zai Zai and Lu Rang went for a walk together. During their walk, he shared with Zai Zai how his family was doing. Knowing about Lu Rang's situation, she immediately offered her support telling him to always reach out to her whenever he needed someone because she would always be there for him. As New Year's Eve coming, Zai Zai and Lu Rang exchanged New Year's greetings with each other. Their friends also wished them a happy new year, and they all enjoyed the festive evening. A few days later, school started again, and Zai Zai's teacher reminded them to be cautious because it was flu season. On that particular day, Lu Rang was awakened by message notifications from his two friends. Since Gu Lun wasn't feeling well, Guan Feng went to Gu Lun's house to keep him company. Instead of taking care of Gu Lun, they ended up joking around and sharing stories with Lu Rang, who found their attitude quite amusing. Shortly after, Lu Rang noticed Zai Zai's post on social media. It turned out that she had caught a cold. Without hesitation, Lu Rang took the initiative to offer her some medicine. Unfortunately, due to his busy schedule, they couldn't meet in person, but Zai Zai was genuinely touched by his concern and felt very happy about it. Later on, Lu Rang arrived at Guan Feng's house and gave some medicine to Gu Lun. They even spent the night together. Gu Lun, however, acted quite silly because he didn't want to let go of Lu Rang and Guan Feng. Meanwhile, Zai Zai was busy capturing moments of her happiness. She felt that being sick wasn't so bad after all because it meant she was getting a lot of attention from Lu Rang. Shortly after, he got in touch with her to ask about her condition. Lu Rang genuinely cared about Zai Zai. At the same time, Zai Zai and her friends were attending a psychology seminar at school, and after it was over, they all went out together to get some food. The following day, Jia seemed really sad because the boy she liked, Chi and Yu, was going to move abroad soon. Knowing about this, she wanted to give Chi and Yu a letter as a keepsake. She showed the letter to Zai Zai in class. Unfortunately, something went wrong when Zai Zai accidentally placed the letter inside her assignment book, which was later taken to the teacher's room. This led Zai Zai and Jia to rush to get back the book. Later on, Lu Rang and Zhen Xin were checking assignments from Zai Zai's class. Zhen Xin had a strange liking for when Zai Zai received low math grades. As a result, they mistakenly believed that the letter belonged to Zai Zai. Not much later, Zai Zai arrived, 
unaware that Lu Rang already knew about the love letter. Afterward, Jia and Zai Zai ran into a man. Seeing this, Lu Rang became even more convinced that Zai Zai had feelings for someone. Then, both Zai Zai and Lu Rang had sports class together. Lu Rang was asked to substitute as the sports teacher. At that time, Zai Zai continued to act friendly toward him, sharing his usual smiles. However, he seems upset due to his jealousy. Even when he returned home from school, Lu Rang remained distant from Zai Zai. Eventually, she couldn't take it anymore and asked Lu Rang what was bothering him. Although he claimed he was fine, Zai Zai could tell from his actions that something was wrong. Finally, she realized the cause of Lu Rang's behavior. At first, she thought he might be jealous, but Lu Rang didn't admit to it. Nonetheless, Zai Zai explained that the letter didn't belong to her. When he got home, Lu Rang continued to smile while looking at Zai Zai's book. This change in his behavior raised questions from his uncle. The next day, during break time, Zai Zai and her friends had lunch together in the school cafeteria. Jia was delighted because she had been invited to an event by Qi and Yu. However, her happiness gone a bit when she found out that other friends had also been invited by Qi and Yu. During that time, all the students gathered to check their exam results. Zai Zai was there to see Lu Rang's grades. Surprisingly, he had managed to improve his English score, although it wasn't perfect yet. This brought great joy to Zai Zai, and their other friends also received good grades. In celebration, they made plans to go on a holiday together. When Lu Rang got home, he asked his mom if he could go on a vacation to Bai Chuan. But instead of saying yes, his mom scolded him and compared him to his younger brother. Fortunately, Lu Rang's uncle stepped in and helped him out. So in the end, Lu Rang got the green light for his holiday. The next day, Zai Zai and their friends were all set and waiting for Lu Rang, because they were eager to leave. After a bit of waiting, they finally gathered and hurriedly headed out together. On the train, they had a blast, with lots of fun and laughter. Zai Zai even dozed off and ended up resting on Lu Rang's shoulder. When they arrived in Bai Chuan, they wasted no time enjoying their time together. The following day, Jia wanted to treat Zai Zai to some ice cream, but there was a big problem cause her wallet had gone missing. This was really bad news because all their money was in that wallet. At that time, they keep searching until night, but the wallet was nowhere to be found. Luckily, Zai Zai spotted a flyer advertising job openings. This discovery inspired her and their friends to start working and earn some money. Soon after, they started working, even though it was really tough. Zai Zai had the job of gathering stuff in a room. But when it was time to leave, she forgot how to get out, and the lights weren't working right. Luckily, Lu Rang was there. So Zai Zai quickly hugged him and hid behind him. Finally, they managed to finish the work and got paid for it. But they still didn't feel like they were having a good time there, so they decided to buy concert tickets. In the evening, Lu Rang got a call from his mom, asking him to come home quickly. Zai Zai was waiting downstairs. When Lu Rang saw her, they sat down and talked. At that time, Zai Zai wanted to know about Lu Rang's family and found out he has a younger brother. She complimented him, making him feel proud. The next day, they went to a concert, and it made them really happy. They forgot about their problems and just had a blast together. Lu Rang got lucky and got to sing on stage. At first, he wasn't sure, but his friends cheered him on, so he went for it. After that, Lu Rang and his friends went to the beach and had a great time. They made a wish to come back next summer. Sometime later, school started again, and Zai Zai got placed in a different class. Luckily, she was still with Jia. Surprisingly, Guan Feng ended up in the same class as them. Meanwhile, Lu Rang and Gu Lun were in a different class. During the break, Lu Rang and Gu Lun went to visit Guan Feng's class. Guan Feng thought they missed him but they were actually busy chatting with Zai Zai and Jia. In the evening, Lu Rang and Zai Zai were studying together in the club room. Zai Zai felt a little scared because of the atmosphere, but having Lu Rang there made her fear go away. Suddenly, the lights went out and Lu Rang, noticing Zai Zai's fear, quickly lit a candle to continue their studying. The following night, Lu Rang and Zai Zai were studying together again. To their surprise, Zhen Xin spotted them together and snapped a photo. The next day, Zai Zai got called to the teacher's room. It turned out that Lu Rang was also there with a few teachers. The principal was concerned about their closeness because they had seen the photos. The teachers didn't want any problems, especially since they were about to compete in their respective fields. But Lu Rang confidently stated that he would win the competition, and Zai Zai felt just as sure. The next day, Lu Rang's mom came to school and was very upset because she learned about Lu Rang's friendship with a girl. 
She even compared Lu Rang to his younger sibling and thought about transferring him to a school in their hometown. Thankfully, Lu Rang's uncle managed to calm her down, and Lu Rang insisted on staying at the same school. The next day, Sai Zai was waiting at the bus stop for Lu Rang as usual. But this time, Lu Rang acted distant and indifferent towards her. Zai Zai noticed it but didn't think on it too much. However, at school, she overheard some students gossiping about Lu Rang. They felt sorry for him because he's a smart student, but there was a girl bothering him, and they thought, that's why he seemed annoyed. Later, when Lu Rang and Zai Zai were on the bus heading home, she sensed something was off with him. Near their destination, he suddenly asked her to be quiet, even though he usually enjoyed her chatting. This made Zai Zai feel sad, and in the days that followed, she started avoiding Lu Rang and recorded her sadness on her camera. Then Jia told Zai Zai that Lu Rang was going to change schools. Jia assumed Zai Zai already knew, but she didn't. So Zai Zai wanted to meet with Lu Rang immediately. In the evening, Zai Zai finally decided to ask Lu Rang about the school change. She didn't want to bother him, especially because he hadn't mentioned it to her, even though their other friends knew. At that time, Zai Zai started feeling like she didn't matter to Lu Rang at all, and this made her very upset. The next day, Zai Zai distanced herself from Lu Rang completely. Their friends noticed the change in her behavior and began to question Lu Rang about it. It seemed like Zai Zai really disliked him now. However, when they were coming home from school, they saw Zai Zai with a guy who wasn't in a school uniform. This confused Lu Rang even more, and he couldn't stop thinking about it, losing his focus when he got home. Meanwhile, Zai Zai was at the minimarket with the guy, and they seemed close. Surprisingly, Lu Rang saw them together and thought the guy might harm her, so he wanted to help and take her home. But Zai Zai refused and chose to stay with the guy instead. The next day, Lu Rang and his friends went shopping, but Zai Zai wasn't with them. Jia told Lu Rang that the guy with Zai Zai was her cousin. Learning this made Lu Rang really happy and relaxed. When it was time to go home from school, Lu Rang and Zai Zai ended up on the same bus. Even though Zai Zai had been distant, Lu Rang sat next to her. Finally, when they got off the bus, he apologized to her for his behavior. He explained that she never bothered him, and she was a special friend to him. These words melted Zai Zai's heart, and they made up as usual. Plus, Lu Rang even did the cute act that she had taught him. The following day, when Lu Rang got home from school, he learned that his younger brother, Chung Lu Li, would be living with him because Lu Lai would be taking an exam at his school. However, this news didn't make Lu Rang very happy, and Lu Lai could sense it, even though Lu Rang denied it. The next day, Lu Lai scolded Lu Rang in front of his friends, revealing that they were siblings. Lu Rang's friends learned about the family connection, and Lu Lai mentioned their parents were waiting at school, but Lu Rang knew they were there for Lu Lai. When it was time for school, Zai Zai and Lu Rang were on the bus together. At that time, she remembered that Lu Rang had talked a bit about his family before. This made her want to cheer him up by inviting him to listen to music together. The following day, Zai Zai and their friends got their exam results. She was happy because Lu Rang did well in English. Surprisingly, Lu Lai noticed the joy of his brother's friendship. Later at home, Lu Lai seemed to want the same kind of attention from his brother and invited him to play games. At first, Lu Rang refused, but he felt sorry for Lu Lai and agreed to play. While they were playing, their parents scolded Lu Rang, which made Lu Lai very upset because he thought it was unfair. When Lu Rang finished studying, he couldn't find Lu Lai, and they all started looking for him. Eventually, Lu Rang met Zai Zai, and she helped search for Lu Lai as well. After searching everywhere, Zai Zai finally found Lu Lai. At that time, he opened up about their family's situation. When they were little, Lu Lai and Lu Rang had a great relationship, but their parents always treated them differently. This led to Lu Rang developing his distant personality. Lu Lai was thankful that Zai Zai and the others were willing to be friends with Lu Rang. Meanwhile, Lu Rang was still searching for Lu Lai. Finally, they all met, and their eyes filled with tears. Soon after, they went home together. Zai Zai mentioned how close they were, and she even knew their childhood stories. The next day, while cleaning the room, Lu Rang accidentally found Lu Lai's exam entrance ticket. Lu Lai couldn't take the exam because he didn't have the ticket. Lu Rang rushed to catch up with Lu Lai and gave him his exam ticket. He also encouraged Lu Lai, just like they did when they were kids. At that time, Zai Zai and her friends wanted to celebrate her birthday. But suddenly her homeroom teacher asked her to check some answer sheets, and the task took until evening. 
Since it was too late at night, they couldn't celebrate her birthday, which made her very sad. Later, as Zai Zai was heading home, she received a surprise clue that led her to a heartwarming surprise from her friends. It moved her deeply, and they all looked so happy. When she got home, Lu Rang contacted her and asked her to come downstairs. It turned out he wanted to wish her a happy birthday and gave her a gift that she really liked. There Zai Zai asked Lu Rang to meet up again after she filled her camera with lots of photos. A few days later, Zai Zai and her friends, along with other students, gathered for a photo session as graduation was going to come. Lu Rang was also going back to his hometown for a while. They took photos together and Guan Feng even requested a bonus photo with them. There Zai Zai playfully touched Lu Rang's cheek to make him smile like the others. In the evening, Zai Zai and Lu Rang went home together, supporting and encouraging each other. Lu Rang also invited Zai Zai to attend university together, and they exchanged photos as cherished mementos. The following day, Zai Zai no longer saw Lu Rang in her class. They could only exchange letters, and they kept up with this letter exchange for some time. Then came the moment when all the students in Zai Zai's class had to fill out forms to choose their universities and majors. Without hesitation, Zai Zai picked the same university as the one she had promised to attend with Lu Rang. She even visited Lu Rang's school and took a photo in front of the school's wall magazine. Soon after, Lu Rang was there too. After a long time, they finally reunited and Zai Zai admitted that she missed Lu Rang. He quickly invited her for a walk, and she mentioned that her grades weren't enough to get into their university. She needed to study hard and take several exams, and knowing this, Lu Rang encouraged her. A few days later, their homeroom teacher announced the names of those who had successfully gained admission to the University of South China. Zai Zai was one of the person who had successfully made it. In the following days, she studied diligently, and she and Lu Rang continued exchanging letters. They were determined to keep pushing forward to achieve their dreams. Sometime later, graduation day finally arrived, a day filled with relief and hopes for a bright future for all the students. Shortly after, Zai Zai and Jia took photos together just like Gu Lun and Guan Feng did. At that time, Zai Zai also contacted Lu Rang and congratulated him on his graduation. Surprisingly, Lu Rang was also there at the graduation ceremony. His presence brought lots of joy to Zai Zai and her friends, and they took a photo together to celebrate. Later, they all went to Guan Feng's grandmother's shop. Unfortunately, Guan Feng received bad news when his grandmother suddenly fainted and had to be rushed to the hospital. At the hospital, Guan Feng learned about his grandmother's illness and the need for immediate surgery. It was a tough moment, but the surgery went well and Guan Feng's friends remained by his side throughout the process. During this time, Zai Zai and Lu Rang were on a date. Zai Zai had learned a few things from Jia, but Lu Rang preferred her to be herself and found her act endearing. Zai Zai also suggested they visit a fortune teller, as it was their plan all along, but Lu Rang had already figured out their plan. Then Zai Zai and Lu Rang sat down and had a chat. Finally, Lu Rang admitted that he had feelings for Zai Zai. This confession coincided with fireworks lighting up the night sky. Afterward, they walked home together, and this time, Zai Zai looked a bit nervous. At that time, they tried to hold hands, even though they are shy. When they reached home, Zai Zai was overjoyed and she couldn't contain her excitement. Lu Rang was feeling the same, laughing to himself. The next day, Zai Zai checked her exam results with her parents and was thrilled to see that she had received good grades. Shortly after, Lu Rang came to visit Zai Zai at her house. At first, she was worried that something bad had happened, but it turned out that Lu Rang was just joking. They both received good news because they had successfully been accepted and would attend the same university. Hearing that good news filled Zai Zai with excitement, and she couldn't help but hug Lu Rang tightly. Lu Rang then planned a holiday trip to watch the sunrise, which making Zai Zai happy. Then, she prepared everything and even daydreamed about the romantic moments they would share. The next day, Zai Zai and Lu Rang were all set for their trip. Unexpectedly, their friends decided to join them. Sadly, Zai Zai's plan didn't go as smoothly as she hoped. When they reached their destination, they set up a tent, but Zai Zai felt a bit upset because she thought Lu Rang was ignoring her. Realizing this, he comforted her. At night, Zai Zai and Lu Rang intended to stargaze, but Gu Lun ended up being the third wheel. Fortunately, Jia understood the situation and took Gu Lun away. Finally, Zai Zai and Lu Rang got some alone time to enjoy the evening together. Lu Rang hugged Zai Zai to keep her warm. Unexpectedly, Guan Feng caught them in a romantic moment, and his shock was too much to contain. 
He couldn't help but express his surprise. After that, Liu Rang was directly questioned by Gu Lun and Guanfang about the situation. The next day, Zai Zai and her friends gathered to watch the sunrise while chatting with each other. Finally, they got to enjoy the beautiful sunrise with their loved ones. On that same day, it was Zai Zai's first day at university, and she met a guy who helped her find her dormitory. Upon arriving, she met her roommate, and they introduced themselves. Later, she waited for Liu Rang right under his dorm, and they went to have a meal together. While at the restaurant, an employee wanted to take a photo of them. Liu Rang was surprised when Zai Zai kissed his cheek in the photo, leaving him speechless. Afterward, they headed home together. Zai Zai chatted away on the bus, and Liu Rang was used to her talkative thing. Eventually, she fell asleep on his shoulder. At first, Liu Rang was nervous about touching her, but he tried to hold her. Then, in a sweet moment, they almost kissed, but Zai Zai woke up and kissed Liu Rang on the lips because she couldn't resist. In response, he kissed her back, giving in to the moment. The next day, Zai Zai was training with an instructor, but she received a warning because her movements were incorrect. So the instructor asked Lin Nun for help to train Zai Zai. They seemed to know each other. Meanwhile, Liu Rang saw Zai Zai being trained by Lin Nun and approached them. His arrival gave Zai Zai a break, and he seemed impressed by her cuteness. After the training, Zai Zai complained to Liu Rang about feeling very tired and craving some food to boost her energy. Without hesitation, he fulfilled her wish. Back at the dormitory, Zai Zai's friends admired Liu Rang's good looks. This made Zai Zai confident that she could win his heart. At that time, her friends didn't know that Liu Rang was Zai Zai's boyfriend. In the following days, Zai Zai took steps to get closer to Liu Rang, and her efforts paid off. In the evening, she finally revealed to her friends that they were dating. At first, her friends were upset, but they eventually accepted it and were happy for Zai Zai and Liu Rang. The next day, Zai Zai and Liu Rang had lunch together in the campus cafeteria. Zai Zai was happy because she had just received news that the task she had worked on with her friends had achieved best results. Hearing that made Liu Rang proud of her. Later, while waiting for Liu Rang to come out of a seminar room, Zai Zai was approached by Lin Nun. Liu Rang noticed their interaction and joined them. During their conversation, he couldn't help but ask about the relationship between Zai Zai and Lin Nun. At first, he hesitated to admit that he was feeling jealous, but eventually, Liu Rang confessed that he was afraid of losing Zai Zai. The following day, Zai Zai returned Liu Rang's flash drive that he had left in her bag. She also wanted to watch his presentation. After the presentation, a video of Zai Zai and Liu Rang together unexpectedly showed up on the projector screen. This embarrassed Zai Zai, but Liu Rang remained composed and smiled throughout. Zai Zai's embarrassment stayed still until they were about to return to their dormitory. However, Liu Rang cherished the memory of that day. When he got back to the dormitory, he rewatched the videos of their time together, and even his friends joined in to watch. Soon after, Zai Zai and her friends from the same department were having dinner together. Li Nun was also with them, and his behavior towards her was quite different. It was evident that he had a deep affection for her, as his actions and gestures showed his feelings. After dinner, Li Nun offered to take Zai Zai back to her dormitory, but she declined, mentioning that her boyfriend would be coming to pick her up. Zai Zai didn't hesitate to praise Lu Rang in front of Li Nun, which made realize there was no chance of being with Zai Zai. Shortly after, Lu Rang arrived and Zai Zai hurried over to him. During their journey, he couldn't help but ask about the conversation between Zai Zai and Li Nun. Zai Zai, with a cheerful expression, revealed that she had proudly talked about her boyfriend in front of Li Nun. This brought a lot of joy to Lu Rang, who couldn't resist pulling Zai Zai closer and giving her a loving kiss. The following day, Zai Zai noticed that Chu had posted a photo of herself with Lu Rang. At first, she wasn't too bothered because it seemed like the photo had been cropped. However, as she scrolled through the post and read the comments, Zai Zai became quite upset. She decided to have lunch in the cafeteria with one of her friends. To her surprise, Chu was also in the cafeteria. This time, Zai Zai confronted Chu, hinting at her actions and making her agree to delete the post. Later, one of Chu's friends confronted Lu Rang, expressing disappointment with how Zai Zai treated Chu. Surprisingly, he didn't get angry and actually supported Zai Zai's actions. Shortly after, Zai Zai joined them and held Lu Rang's hand. She even showed their affection to annoy Chu. And in the evening, Zai Zai felt happy because Lu Rang posted a photo of them on his social media. A few days later, Zai Zai and Lu Rang were getting ready to head home for the New Year holiday. 
Zai Zai took a moment to record a video before they boarded the bus. During the journey, they looked really happy and enjoyed themselves by listening to music together. Finally, they arrived at Zai Zai's home in the evening. Before Lu Rang went back to his uncle's house, he kissed Zai Zai on the lips, and they shared a warm hug. To their surprise, Zai Zai's parents find out about their romance. At first, they were quite angry, but their anger quickly disappeared when they realized that the man with Zai Zai was Lu Rang. They all sat down together and had a conversation. However, Zai Zai's parents ended up saying some harsh things to Zai Zai, making her feel uneasy. The following day, Zai Zai and Lu Rang were scheduled to meet Mr. Lin Mao, Lu Rang's uncle. Zai Zai was quite nervous, but Mr. Lin Mao was thankful that Lu Rang had met her. Hearing that, Lu Rang's mood light up after this meeting. On that very cold night, as snow began to fall, Zai Zai made a wish. Once again, she acted in a silly way, making Lu Rang laugh. His laughter led to a sweet kiss between them. Several years later, Zai Zai finally graduated from university, and Lu Rang was there to congratulate her. At that time, she was so happy that she immediately hugged Lu Rang. The next day, Lu Rang took Zai Zai to their new house, which she really liked. It was going to be their home together. There, she playfully teased him, and when he couldn't resist any longer, he kissed her, making her feel a bit nervous but delighted. A few days later, Zai Zai started working and proudly show a photo of herself with Lu Rang on her desk. One evening, she picked up Lu Rang from his office, and he leaned on her shoulder to relax. They headed home together, and she recorded their conversations and romantic moments on her camera. During that time, Zai Zai reunited with her high school friends. They had a great time singing karaoke, and Zai Zai and Guan Feng had a bit too much to drink, which left her acting very affectionate and spoiled toward Lu Rang. A few days later, Zai Zai and Lu Rang were in a long-distance relationship due to Zai Zai's work demands. However, she still kept him updated about her day and told him everything that happened. During one of her days, Zai Zai attended a meeting with her colleagues and met with a client from her company. Unfortunately, the client was unkind and tried to tease her. As the day went on, Zai Zai got hungry and even fell asleep on some stairs. Luckily, a kind friend came to her rescue and took her to eat. Meanwhile, Lu Rang asked Zai Zai about her activities that day. Despite her pretending that everything was fine, Lu Rang knew that Zai Zai had been crying and that things weren't okay. Later, Zai Zai sat alone at a bus stop and missed the last bus of the night. But then, Lu Rang came to pick her up, and she hugged him tightly, crying in his arms. When they got home, Lu Rang prepared food for Zai Zai and showed genuine concern for her. He rolled her to be kind, and in response, Zai Zai playfully covered her ears to show she was listening to his advice. A few days later, Zai Zai and her friends decided to go on a vacation together. This time, Jia and Gu Lun were a couple, leaving Guan Feng without a partner. During this trip, Lu Rang revealed to his two friends that he planned to propose to Zai Zai when he was fully prepared and done with his work. The following day, Lu Rang looked quite anxious because he was going to present his new work. Even though it was just a message, Zai Zai encouraged him. Surprisingly, she attended Lu Rang's presentation. During the presentation, he mentioned that there was an incredible woman behind all his achievements, which deeply moved Zai Zai. Once the presentation ended, Zai Zai requested a gift. Lu Rang, who already knew what she wanted, gave her a kiss. However, she asked for more kisses, and eventually, Lu Rang happily do her request. Afterward, he took her to a house. As it turned out, this house was their new home together. Not only that, but Lu Rang also surprised Zai Zai with a video recording from their high school days. He'd expressed his gratitude for meeting her, who had transformed his life into something meaningful. Besides all of this, Lu Rang proposed to Zai Zai, and all these surprises deeply moved her. At that time, she gladly accepted that proposal, and they embraced their future together. In the evening, Zai Zai was hanging out with Jia at a roadside shop, having a nice chat. Soon after, Lu Rang received a call from Jia asking him to come and pick up Zai Zai right away. It turned out that she had drunk too much alcohol and was feeling a bit tipsy. When Lu Rang got home, Zai Zai was acting quite funny because she was still under the influence of alcohol. Her playful behavior annoyed Lu Rang a bit, but she also playfully called him husband. Hearing that, Lu Rang responded to her cuteness with a warm and passionate kiss, and then he took her to their room to rest together. A few days later, the happiest day arrived, and it was Lu Rang and Zai Zai's wedding day. The atmosphere was so joyful that it even brought tears to Jia's eyes. The wedding ceremony went smoothly, filled with happiness. To top it off, 
Lu Rang and Zai Zai shared an intimate kiss in front of everyone, officially becoming husband and wife, ready to embark on a happy life together. In the evening, Lu Rang took Zai Zai to their room to sleep. At that time, she was feeling a bit upset because of some thoughts she had. However, Lu Rang comforted her by holding her close, and they slept together with her in his arms. The following night, they watched TV together, and because they were still newly married, they continued to be romantic. Over the next few days, Zai Zai eagerly awaited Lu Rang's return. When he arrived, she rushed to him and hugged him tightly. It turned out she had some exciting news to that she was pregnant with their child. Hearing that news filled Lu Rang with surprise and joy. He thanked Zai Zai because she would soon become a mother to their children. And the film ends. The moral lesson from this film is if you like someone, just annoy them, cause in the end, they will like you back.